Hey guys, how's it going? Hey Keegan, hey Nagayemi, I'm from Canada. Hi, so many comments already, cool. Greetings from a Filipino living in Saudi Arabia, cool. Cool man, Steve, I appreciate your, uh, your uh, persistence. I'm not going to review that case. Um, so guys, hopefully, bye Monty, you guys hear me, buds, yay, nay, why does this keep disappearing? Anyways, thought I, uh, just go live and check out kind of how you guys are all doing, talk about some of the stuff that I will be reviewing next week that I've been using on my products or I've been using so far um still working on the speaking blaster ipad that's on this ipad that i'm using i still i don't know if you can see it i've got the uh the test unit over my shoulder i'm still working on that i think i found i think i found the right tip in order to test the edges properly so i'm just kind of going through that process um also going to do speaking tough armor pro this coating on the new Spigen Tough Hour Pros, this is awesome. I'm hoping they put this on the iPhone 12's uh, Spigen products. The dumbest thing about iPad cases is the iPad is the Apple Pencil thing. Like I do not understand why companies don't make two versions of the cases: one for the Apple ca Pencil, one for the not. Like, what happens if you don't use the Apple Pencil? You're stuck with this stupid thing. The Autobox Defender X case is okay. I thought you were going to say for the iPad. That thing is like a monstrosity. Uh, absolute monstrosity. Uh, I've got a Scooch case. I reviewed these guys probably five, six years ago. And they've got like this thing. And so going to re-review it. They've upgraded certain parts of it. And I know the people that I gave my Scooch cases to, they absolutely loved it for the device. Uh, going to do the Zag Slim Folio Go. I don't know where it is. What about the Glear 4 Patoon case? It hasn't changed since the iPhone XR, and it's a very average tough case. I'm sure I've written that to you a bunch of times already. Uh, going to do the Griffin Endurance. This thing is pretty cool. Ugly, ugly Spigen camera lens protector. And I'll also, next week, most likely review this piece of crap. Which is... <laughs> no, it's not as good as the Loopy, but it's got some other functions that the Loopy has, like a stand. <coughs> what else you guys got for me orlando hey jason hey barrett hey darren ny81 happy friday kevin vdk minta speaking tough armor gang sure hi pascal hola oh kevin's right there looking at the wrong side is the new ipad pro really better in daily use compared to the 2020 ipad pro mainly battery life is the new ipad pro compared to the 20 isn't the 2021 the uh isn't the 2020 the newest one? I'm assuming you're saying the 2018. There is minimal difference. The camera is whatever. It's not a big difference. The uh, LiDAR scanner, not a big difference. Um, it's really the keyboard. The Magic Keyboard, I think, is going to make the biggest difference in terms of how you use your iPad. And that thing will work for both the 2018 and the 2020. Uh, Panama. Hey, Michael E. Barrett. Burns. We review the STM Ducks. I'll see if I can find it. Uh, Mendelin, Colombia. Cool. What is my daily driver? It is literally the case that I'm reviewing, Sky. Uh, Marson, do you think any noticeable difference in terms of protection between the most limitless three and the contour, considering the contour is quite a bit thinner? The thickness of the limitless comes from the uh, magnets. So they needed to fill that space up so they put magnets in it. I think it will be tougher only because the entire back of the case is a lot more rigid, right? So the case won't do this as much, um, which will improve the drop protection when it comes face first or slight corner. Um... Jason Cronin, where is your dog? He left at the very beginning of the video. He like started live stream. He was poof, gone. Monty doesn't like live streams apparently. 
David, love your channel. Yay. Do a review on the grip to you boost phone case. Remember, it's looking more wider silicone and better drop percussion. I'll, I'll check it out. Sapphire X. Ooh, that is a sweet setup, David. Uh, Rhino Show Solid Suit Mouse Contour. I like the contour for the iPhone. Uh, so what did you say, Sky? What is my daily driver? It's whatever I'm reviewing. Like, <laughs> I just dropped my phone. If I'm reviewing, if I'm writing a review for the Scoot, it's going to be the Scoots. Like, I don't pick one. Like, I'm a reviewer, so I always use whatever I'm reviewing, right? Like, I just got a ton of uh, Incipio cases. So when I'm reviewing these, I'll be using these every single day. Funny story is I got my box from Incipio today, and I got charged custom fees on it because they thought it was cereal because this thing called the Organicore, they thought this was cereal. So they thought I was importing in cereal. So I got dinged for uh, custom fees, which is silly. Um, as a side note, do you guys remember the Pella? Remember that guy from Pella? <laughs> um, this case looks like a Pella case, but it's got way better edges and corners. So it's like, leave it up to a case company to make a compostable case that's actually good and not a case company that's just a social justice warrior kind of company to make a phone case like you know stuff like that just seems funny to me uh you were for with the built-in screen protector uh with the built-in screen protector generally are bad ideas rich reviews i think a poetic case one of the poetic cases has a built-in one that i might use i will never like i am dreading having to put my ipad pro in that autobox defender with the built-in screen protector i am dreading that review because i'm going to scratch my wonderful wonderful ipad screen and i hate that um d-band grip yep yeah, did a whole review on that it is not the toughest case it's actually a terrible case and i I took a screenshot of a D brand ad I saw and their entire thing was you need to get this product so that you can flex on your friends. And in the last while I've been leaning more towards like, I really am folk doubling down on the reviews, not, you know, those look at this pretty product. You can get it sort of thing because it's not worth wasting your money on stuff that just looks pretty. It needs to be absolutely functional. Right. So to get a skin on your iPad or your AirPods just to flex on somebody, that marketing message, I completely disagree with. Uh, Ricardo, I did a video on that not so long ago. And uh, would you consider reviewing Nomad wireless charger? So, Christopher, I actually do have one. What I'm trying to figure out. So I've got all these things on the go. So like the screen, different types of screen protectors, I'll start doing them for the other devices. But with those battery banks, apart from reading off the specs, which is what everybody else does, the one thing I want to test is like throw in a massive amount of electrical current into it, what's gonna happen, right? Like literally blow it up. Like I wanna start kind of doing some more of that testing because that would be useful information, more useful than just me spouting off how I feel about this product. It feels nice and it has nice batteries. But if I can say I put in an extra amount, extra amount of current to it, it didn't do anything. It caught on fire because at the end of the day, it's the device that is worth protecting, right? What's the 1610, the cork? Don't know what that is. Can I ship the self limitless 3.0? I don't know. Go to their website, Tristan. <laughs> like, oh, is a case the 1621 case? Yeah, that case is made of cork, so it's cork, and then it's got a piece of polycarbonate in it. It's not completely biodegradable, but the material, the cork, is renewable. Um, Cheng Chengay's Khan. Yeah, no. If you buy stuff through my links, it definitely helps my channel. Uh, that's the 1610. Yeah, battery tips. Turn it off. <laughs> What's the best iPhone 7 case? It's still going to be the Limitless 2.0. Uh, what happened to the Switch Easy cases? I don't know. I haven't used them in years. 
it was the best case for the iPhone 11 Pro Max. Go watch the video, Ghost 13. <laughs> Come on now. For someone who hates cases any bulk, what the, but knows they need some protection, not from peel, what is a suggestion? I don't know. Uh, oh, I can't think of the case name. What is the case? It starts with an S. Codby, Codby Sheath. Uh, that's for you, J. Wo. <laughs> if you flex, they will pee their pants. All right. I don't know what you're referencing to, Darren. You should plug your smart home review channel more often. Ted, no, I agree. I should. Um, but since doing this pen, the isolation video series, it's been all my effort has been towards doing a video a single day. Uh, so in the city that I'm in, they're starting to re least reduce the restrictions. And so I've got a buddy who helps me out with the smart home stuff because he really lo loves that stuff and I don't have the time to. So it will eventually start coming back to life. Like I've got, I went and bought power line wireless things to test in the garage. I've got, you know, there's a plug. I've got a ton of these LED lights I need to test. So I've got all this stuff. I just, these videos take a lot of effort. <coughs> Thanks, Chris. Hello, Udit Shanker. <laughs> the Ruck Backpack. I haven't heard of it. It's a Mali Cat. You near your town? No, I in Calgary. This is my favorite beer to drink outside, and we just had lunch out in the back. Doesn't cover my location, but would you say it's worth shipping a phone cover overseas? The most limited is 3.0. Honestly, no. Like, if you have to go out of your way to get a product at the end of the day, it's a great case, but it is just a case. What case do you use? Whatever I'm reviewing. <laughs> I'm so confused by that question. <laughs> I'm reviewing this case. I'm using this case today and tomorrow and yesterday. <laughs> Ricardo Restrepo. Restrepo. Is that the movie name? The thing is the brown shield bumper, I feel as if it think maybe something that only covers a bit of the edges, like the iPhone's design, but still wants some protection. You want something thin and you want some protective, those two things are almost, I can't think of the word, uh, mutually exclusive. You can't have thin and you can't have protective. Like if you want something protective, it needs to be a bit thicker, right? So the Rhino shield bumpers are gonna be thicker, yes, but they're gonna afford you a lot of protection. Um... Udit Shankers from India. Welcome. Hello, India. Greetings from Hudson, Ohio. Ohio. Sebastian, thank you. New Zealand. Is it worth to protect the lenses of my iPhone SE? No. <laughs> they are most definitely not. There is like a 99% chance that they're not going to shatter. Like, really. I've dropped so many iPhones, and I'm only reviewing these stupid little things because... People seem to ask me a lot of questions, so I'm going to start doing that. Cool Man Steve, you mentioned you wouldn't review the Literally Cool Man Steve, because you said you were going to spam my channel until I did. <laughs> and stuff like that bothers me. I'll reply to your comments, but not to the ones that ask me to review that whatever case. If you flex as in really flex, it would scare people because you're in reference to you saying flex... <laughs> if you flex people would not be scared of me when I flex I'm not a very big person I just wear really really tight t-shirts <clears throat> I, I bought the AirPods Pro and have always problems with it falling out tried all but sizes oh and I have to constantly I have no idea T-Will have you tried any of those aftermarket buds because I know there's some that are like memory foams. I've I've never used them. Best budget case for the iPhone 10 R. I would go with something from ESR. I think the products are like not great. They're not bad. Not JetTech ESR. Uh, Beaumont. Beaumont. Beaumont, Alberta, woo, Bahamas. I really wish I was in someplace warm. 
Vic VC, I hate to see everyone around me using Autobox cases with a whole cutout to show the Apple logo. Don't you want to protect the whole phone? Yeah, but I think the uh, Autobox cases, I've got a bunch back there. That hole, if you use it, helps with the uh, usability of the gigantic cases. Do clear cases have downsides compared to solid cases? Do you prefer either or? I, oh, I drank too much beer, sorry. I have to, I've been like fighting a burp and trying to answer these questions. I don't like clear cases because of the fingerprinting. That's just my personal preference. So cases like this Endurance by Survivor, it's got a matte finish. So my greasy face doesn't show up on this a lot. So I prefer cases like this, but like outright clear TPU style cases, I have a hard time using. I, I just don't like them. <clears throat> to see your input on the ruck I've had. Eh, maybe I'll check it out. How can I know fake UAG cases? Buy it from Urban Armor Gear. <laughs> How long have I had Monty? I've had Monty for over 10 years. So he's, he's an old man now. Can you make videos about fake U Urban Armor Gear cases? No, I'm not. Do you play any instruments? Used to play guitar, used to play piano. Warm, LOL, LOL. I don't know what you're referencing to. Do you think UJ will fix the Metropolis case and have a better magnetic closure when the case is folded over? I don't think so. Uh, yeah, I don't think UJ is going to fix that. What is that case? Welcome, Jared. Yes, there's Survivor Endurance. Pay attention. Come on. Juan, I'm using the same case you're using, but the back seems a little bit slippery. It is a little bit slippery. Um, but these corners, I'm just, we're finishing the uh, Griffin Survivor Extreme video right now. And that's a very nice case. I don't mind this one. I actually really do like that extreme, but the buttons are terrible. Uh, Tony. Yeah, no, the only screen protector I could find was a two and a half D from Flow Lab, as well as I'm assuming my assumes my assumption is that the two and a half D ones from Otterbox and the Zag will work with it as well. But like with the two and a half D on the iPhone eleven with the Griffin Survivor Extreme, I'm curious to know if a drop is gonna actually break the glass because like the corners will kind of like pop up a bit. Um, but it'll be interesting to see. We'll be doing that in a few hours. <clears throat> Does the 3D edge-to-edge -edge compression really fix, fix the tar, fix the armor? Yes, Jahim. Why is there no great privacy that breaks up about the full app of the privacy, which is good, but not as good as the clear one you reviewed? With the full lab, so I told the guys, I took your privacy screen protector and it broke much easier, and the guy said it shouldn't have. Uh, so keep that in mind, I guess. The reason why I like Flow Lab is because they are very open with me anyways in what they're trying to do to make their products better. And so they will tell me like, we've made our edges stronger. So it's like, cool. I need to figure out how to test stronger edges, right? And, you know, I really appreciate companies who are willing to work with me in that manner. Uh, I've, I love doing the smart home stuff. I said that Patrick, just don't have the time. Favorite case of the year so far, the most contour. That was a really nice surprise. Mophie battery cases, everybody does Mophie battery cases. Any Disney Parks DTEC cases? That Tony, I don't think they'd be any different than any of the OtterBox cases that I've reviewed so far. The only difference would just be the prints. Hey, Stubert95, came in a couple days ago, bought it, loving it. Cool, glad you liked it. Bjorn Lothbrook. Brook, Brook, Brook. Best budget case, I don't know. All right, magnetic flip folio cases you reckon for the 11 Pro Max flip folio. You can check out the uh, Otterbox Strata. Otterbox Strata is a good, nice magnetic flip. Uh, the Mint Metropolis isn't too bad, uh, but between the two, I like the Otterbox one better. Uh, where can I get the flow escrow for the 11 Pro Max? You have to get it from their website. Stu from Lauderdale. Hello, Darren. What about the relevant case for the 11 Pro Max? No, I'm not going to review it. Of course I'm going to review it. But tell me this, guys. Is it out yet? It's not. I've pre-ordered it. I'll review it when it shows up. 
any iPhone SE stuff like accessories or cases. So IZ, just, you know, go look at my iPhone 8 stuff. There's only a handful of cases that have been updated since the iPhone S, iPhone 8. Uh, so like I'm kind of holding off doing that top 10 video until I get all those products. Because I don't, I could easily just go downstairs, get a bunch of cases that I've got for the iPhone SE and make a top 10 video. But that's not a good reflection of what's out there in the market now. And those videos that are out right now get hundreds of thousands of views. And they're doing people a big disservice from my perspective. Uh, wow, iPhone 6 case reviews. That's a long time. How's Monty? Asher, Monty's fine. He smells a little funky because his beard's long enough. He's got a lot of stuff in his beard. Darren, New York, how can we help you get the sub amount of subs you deserve? Share my stuff. Give it a thumbs up. Um, it's my problem with my channel is that I am too far into a specific niche. So nobody really cares. Not too many people care about iPhone cases. Um, so I am actively working on broadening that you know doing some of the ipad stuff some of the keyboard stuff and but like it's just just watch my stuff share it give it a thumbs up cool man steve question about the subcase unicorn beetle Did the plastic frames break up the legs drop uh yeah no well subcase is a budget brand their cases are cheap it's made from thin thin material so it is going to break patrick okay the keys keep falling off. Wow, Patrick. So you're in luck. We're going to be doing a keyboard case a week, I think. So for the next seven weeks. So we've got the Bridge, Bridge Pro, the Zag, the Logitech. <laughs> a Pro case. I'm still trying to figure out if I want to review the Apple ones by themselves. And I'm going to do a video, big roundup video about just using normal keyboards with the iPad because that is a very doable thing. Um, have you ever tested Decode products? They're sending me something, Sebastian. I think you're the one who mentioned them to me and they were happy to send me stuff. I picked up the watch, the Rhino Shield Apple Watch case. Yeah, so funny story. I've been reviewing the Pataka case on my Apple Watch and so it fell off. And I've been using it with just the full app screen protector. I was exercising yesterday with my, I've got a skipping rope that has, it's not coated. And I whipped myself right across the face of the screen protector, shattered it. Uh, have I thought about doing EDC videos? I have. But my problem with EDC videos is that they glorify a certain level of consumerism. And that's not what my channel is about. I don't want to want to make you feel like you need to buy something because it looks cool. I want you guys to buy stuff because it's a good product. Most clarity light. I'm seeing if I can get some. Uh, what about reviewing headphones? That's funny. I bought so many Bluetooth headphones a while ago. This is the Anchor Soundcore. And I just haven't found the right groove to review them. Mm. Why do I like the mouse cases so much? Because they're good cases, right? Like they don't pay me to say that they make good cases. Like I get affiliate links from everybody, right? So as long as a product is good, I get money from them, right? Like through Amazon, through their affiliate links, like it's a good product. Like that's the reason why like this channel is different than other channels because I don't get paid. Griffin's not gonna pay me to review this product. I bought it outright. If it's a good product, I'll recommend it. And that's how I make my money. <coughs> Aren't Autobox cases more protective? Autobox cases are two layers. Um, PE, TPE, TPU, and polycarbonate. Mouse cases, TPU, TPE, polycarbonate. And they're thicker. Eligo does not fall or catch dust. I'm pretty sure I reviewed those. Abhiyesh Kumar. How about more tacky videos about tech in general? I understand it's not your style, but they would really help increase the sub count, serious stuff and ratings. Uh, you didn't, no, that's a good point. Um, I am working on more tips and trick videos. I feel those would be more useful and more in line with kind of how I perceive my channel should be perceived. 
Roger, I will never do what's on my iPhone video. Oh no, you're talking about apps. I thought you were talking about cases. I was like, it's this case. <laughs> no, I don't, I don't. I surprisingly do not use a lot of apps. What case do I use on a daily basis? It's whatever effing case I'm using. <laughs> I'm reviewing, sorry. Any fun, cool, weird cases you recommend? I got this case from this company called Lowit. It's the same as, uh, it's kind of, it's the ones with the floaty stuff in it. That was weird. How's that beer burp doing? It's gone. I swallowed it. Pushed it all the way down. Cyrus! I hope that's the Cyrus that I'm being so excited about. Cyrus! 190k subscribers. Not enough. Would you ever use a case on your MacBook? No. Do the Nomad Ruggies have sharp TPU, the part where it connects to leather? No, it doesn't. Nice and three card case. I got a bell case in the back that I have to review. I probably won't do the three card there. Like it's, I've got a threshold for how much money I'll spend on a product and it's just way too much for the bell noise. Um, yes, cool man, Steve. They have a synthetic rubber, not TPU. It's still plastic. TPU is plastic. Um, worst case if you used the pillow. What cases are you using right now? Whatever I'm reviewing. Best case. I like bulky cases. Yeah, tacky videos like fake AirPods from AliExpress. Um, my problem with doing cheap product reviews is that I am giving attention to companies that don't deserve it. Right. So if a cheap company comes out with their own stuff by themselves, then I'll give it some consideration. But I won't do like rip off AirPods. It's dumb. Have I ever used a Vaja case? I don't think so. Uh, all right, so I've been talking for 27 minutes. It's a long time. Thank you guys for tuning in to Friday A time. Uh, oh, is the later case as bad as people say? It's not as bad as people say. It's been overhyped too much and it was sold to us by somebody banking on his brand and selling it. Um, and honestly, the case itself is not bad. I've been trying to figure out if they used a lower quality uh, aramid fiber. Because when I was going through the Pataka stuff, I noticed that certain brands have really smooth carbon fiber stuff. Some of them have really rough, and theirs is really rough. And so my biggest issue with the later case is that it did not look like the fridge is loud. It did not look like they put any effort in the marketing. And I'm not, I don't like upset, excessive marketing, but stuff needs to be marketed and their stuff was not. And it just, you, if you don't put your brand on something, how can you be proud about it? Three more questions. Good folio case. Uh, we'll go with the Autobox Strata, Urban Armor Gear Metropolis. Take care in this horrible quarantine. Yeah, thank you. Uh, have you noticed the buttons? They're not the same. Same design concept, but they're not the same. <laughs> I should make a case call it a case. I've considered it. Probably won't happen. All right, guys. Bye. But I close this. <laughs>